This is the best way to lip sync multiple AI characters inside the same scene. We've all seen lip sync on single characters, but how can we animate multiple characters speaking to each other inside the same shot? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use Runway's Act 1 feature to turn ourselves into AI actors and create expressive multiple character dialogues. You know, pineapple on pizza is the best invention of our oh, time. Oh, you did not just say what? that. What? It's a perfect blend of flavors. It's sweet, it's salty. You can't argue with perfection. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. Just like ketchup doesn't belong on pancakes, it's disgusting and you know it. Oh, come on. Now you're just being all really dramatic. I will die on this hill. The way that Act 1 works in Runway is you upload a recording of yourself or anybody else acting out the scene, along with a picture of a character, and the AI uses motion capture to map the head movements, voice, and lip sync onto the character. Create AI movies completely on your own. Now, there isn't really a built-in way to do this with multiple characters at the same time, but I'll show you a method to actually use Act 1 and animate multiple character dialogue scenes. I have already got this pre-made image of Superman and Wonder Woman that I want to add the lip sync to. You need to make sure the faces are clearly visible and have decent lighting in the picture for it to work well. Now we just need to take down a couple recordings of ourselves acting out a scene. I just used my phone to record myself. You know, pineapple on pizza is the best invention of oh, our time. Oh, you did not just say what? that. What? It's a perfect blend of flavors. By the way, if you want to know how I changed the voices, I'll show that at the end. The difficult part is making sure that the recordings are lined up with each other. The way I did this was record myself acting out one character first and then play that recording through my earphones while acting out the second character to get the timing to match up between them. Also at the start of the recordings, make sure you're facing straight on at the camera like I am right now. This helps the AI zeroing on your frontal face pose and then if you add on any head turning movements later on, it works much better. Since we need to animate each of the characters one at a time, Let's crop them out of the photo, one for Superman and one for Wonder Woman. You want to make sure that the entire torso is inside the cropped photo. Since Act 1 does animate the upper body a little bit, we can't use this cropped photo as is. Runway animates images with either a 1280 by 768 resolution or 768 by 1280. So what we need to do is actually put our cropped photo on top of a blank white background like this one to get the correct resolution. I did this using Photopea, it's easy and free to use. Just create a new project and make sure to enter a resolution for it of 1280 by 768 Then drag the cropped character photo on top. When you're done with that, just export the image and save it to your computer. Now let's actually animate our characters and lip sync them to create our dialogue. Inside Runway, we'll create a new video generation session. Then on the left menu bar, use the Act 1 tab, which is the person inside a square icon. From there, upload the live footage of ourselves. I'll start with the recording acting out Superman. It'll take a minute to detect their face, it's just making sure your recordings actually have a person inside them. You know, pineapple on pizza is the best invention of our time. Then underneath that, click upload, and I'll drag on the cropped photo of Mr. Superman. Just hit generate and the AI transfers your recording onto the character photo. You know, pineapple on pizza is the best invention of our time. I've also finished creating the Act 1 clip for Wonder Woman. Oh, you did not just say that. Now, all we need to do is combine the two video clips on top of each other inside a video editor. I'll use CapCut. Drag the video clips onto your timeline. We need to get rid of these big white borders on the sides though. To do this, use the masking tool and select the rectangle option inside. Play around with the edges to get rid of all the white pixels. If you use another video editor, it'll be a similar process. Then we can stack the two character animations onto each other side by side. Since the live video recordings are already matched up, we're all finished with the animations. Act 1 is somewhat limited in how much range of motion you get when you turn your head. It won't actually be able to get the complete turning motion, where you have a 90 degree side profile. Its limit is more like a 45 degree quarter profile, so keep that in mind when you're recording your videos. To get the different character voices, I used 11 Labs. Go to this voice changer tool, which maps a voice recording of my own voice into any AI character. So I'll just go ahead and upload a recording of myself speaking, and below I can choose from a bunch of different character voices to really add some personality. 
You know, pineapple on pizza is the best invention of our time. If you want to learn how to put yourself and multiple other AI-generated characters together inside images, which you can then animate into videos, just like I've shown in this tutorial, go watch this guide right here.